Thank you, Mr. Rapporteur, for the unbiased report that you have presented, and also uh, let me thank uh, Mr. Muzhniak for the very important information he gave to us. In these um, difficult times for Europe, when a member state of the Council of Europe has started yet another war uh, with this time Ukraine, all our prayers and efforts obviously go to the victims of war, those who suffer the most from Russian aggression and military advance. Europe and all democratic forces for this matter shall do all in their capacity to stop Russia, to stop Russian aggression, their military advance and stop ongoing occupation. Dear colleagues, we have amongst us a state that occupies year after another more and more territories of sovereign states, state that is trying to rewrite the international law, state that kills, bulldozes whole villages, they have done it in my home country, occupies and access territories of the other sovereign states on their own wish and desire. We shall be clear here. Because of the war started by Russia's ambitious imperialistic goals, thousands have died, millions have lost their homes, daily lives, are seeking for help. This is not a hypothetical case of people dying or people fleeing their houses. This is the consequence of a war waged by one member of the Council of Europe against another member of the Council of Europe. And this is where we are today. How much more casualties do we need? How much more people shall be dying and fleeing their houses? How much more IDPs and refugees shall be emerging in the middle of Europe? How much more occupied territories, ethnically clean cities and villages do we need? We have Ukraine now, we have Georgia, we have Moldova, we have frozen conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh, do we need one more example, one more case, one more state attacked by Russia in order to stop talking with half tones, stop talking with half sentences and make it absolutely clear for everybody and especially for those sitting in Kremlin and dreaming about restoration of the Soviet Union or I don't know what kind of dreams they have and tell them unified voice as we say to terrorists that there is no place for terrorism and we stand unified all together in the fight against terrorism. We shall stand unified all together exactly the same way in the fight against aggression, occupation and tell this country and Kremlin in one voice stop Russia, stop killing the peoples, stop fleeing the people from their own uh, houses, stop occupying territories and Obviously, uh, with this uh, spirit, we shall do our best to help the victims of this war, to do our best to make their life easier, if there is any possibility and chance for that, and use all humanitarian efforts uh, not to have another humanitarian crisis in the middle of the Europe. Thank you very much.